Hey everybody, uh, my name is Zeal, and uh, this is our multiplayer map on uh, single player. And I will, uh, I'm just going to simplify this. As you can see, I have no inventory. Uh, I just switched my care, uh, the whole file over from multiplayer to single player. And if I'm not mistaken, zombies and critters and stuff to that nature are all on. So hopefully I don't die. <clears throat> oh, wait a second. Never mind. There are no zombies. Silly zombies. Okay. So, uh, this is going to be the first of a couple of my uh, videos. Uh, this one's mainly going to go ahead and talk about um, the castle and the wall around it. Uh, there are many people who have contributed a lot to this castle in, part uh, in particular. Um, some of the names are Patrick is one of the main contributors. Uh, we also have uh, Glenn, uh, Kyle, uh, Eric, um, Jesse. A, bu a bunch of people have put their... Uh, put their hands to work on this. Uh, one thing I do want to let everybody know is that right off the bat, this whole castle, everything that you see, this big, big castle and this land and everything like that, this used to be a giant mountain. And with some wonderful stacks of dynamite and a bunch of time and effort, uh, it's given us about a month or so, and we have what you see now. Big, flat, luscious area uh, with trees and bushes and high grass. Yeah, so... Going over to the little bridge, uh, this whole water source, by the way, this water source that you see, and this little bit over here, that's all man-made. Going over here, this well-lit area uh, is once again all um, all, ma all man-made. I'm so afraid of running across a zombie, I'm freaking out. Uh, because playing a multiplayer, you can turn that feature off, along with animals. Uh, once again, all this water, these trees, and everything to that nature were all put down with a seed and then were manipulated with the terrain. Like, for example, these two trees completely covered this whole walkway, so we just cut a nice little path through that and called it a day. Looks pretty good, though. Alrighty, going through the front door here, and once again, I mean, we've done a lot of detail work to this, but we're far from done. There's so much more that we want to do. Opening up the doors. Um, one thing is I'm going to be taking credit for the wall uh, because that was my major project when we first started doing this. It was actually the first project was, hey, you should map out where the wall is going to be. So I said, okay. So I started digging into a mountain, got thousands and thousands and thousands of cobblestone and went to work on the wall. Uh, just to give you a heads up on how big this wall really is. It stretches down there, across the back, all the way across to here. And I did that by placing block after block after block. And there is a cow inside of our castle. Looks like we're having hamburgers tonight. Alright, going down the uh, ladder here. Now, there are a couple of things that I will say that we kind of cheated or fudged, if you think about it. Um, all the leaves that you see here on the ground are originally from trees. I had to summon them so that we could have bushes. Uh, it looks nice, so leave me alone. I'm going to go inside here. Uh, now, this is this castle. Now, I just I want you to sit here and just think about this for a second. Patrick pretty much single-handedly did this whole castle from block by block by block. But also keep in mind of little things. Like, for example, the entire floor is made out of stone. All the ceilings are made out of stone. It's not that easy to, like, you know, do that. It's very time-consuming, so I give him a lot of credit for what he did. Uh, this is our uh, main throne room. Uh, nice woodworking and everything like that. Oh, we missed a spot. We'll have to work on it. We did have a fire in here, and I'll show you what I mean by the fire. Uh, but the throne is made out of gold that we did not summon, and diamond that we did not summon. Uh, or, or give, or anything to that nature. No commands were really were used for this. 
Uh, the only commands that we set ourselves up for in the very, very beginning was if there is something that we cannot acquire in the game, in multiplayer, then we would summon it, such as TNT. You can't get, you know, um, gunpowder without killing creepers. Well, with all the creepers off and everything to that nature, and no animals and stuff to that nature on, can't have that happen. So, uh, that and nothing dies in multiplayer. So, uh, this is all legit, and we made these, uh, these awesome, awesome chairs with a, a stair and a sign on the side of it. I do apologize if the music in the background is a little too loud. Uh, I had no idea I was going to actually get music with this one. Uh, so we have a picture here. And more doors going to different piece, uh, parts of the castle all the way across. It's a very, very nice, you know, nice setting that we actually have. Let me show you the kitchen, because uh, the, uh, the dining room first. Uh, the dining room was done on a two-tier set. Uh, and that's the second floor that you see that's up there. I'll show you that in a second. Um, the lava is, these are not source blocks. What they are is that we actually had a, uh, a running fountain or a running water lava fountain thing uh, below our castle. And we took buckets as soon as they were available to us. And we took the buckets and we filled up glass little bowls. And we used that to be, <clears throat> to be able to naturally light this whole room. So... Uh, it came out nice. It really did. So, going through here into the kitchen. Uh, now, here's the funny thing. And <laughs> uh, if you weren't there to really experience it, you won't get the laughing aspect of this. Um, but we had a problem a couple of weeks ago with animals spawning in that area, like that cow that you saw earlier. Well, the problem was it was a obscene amount of, like, pigs and chickens or ducks or whatever the heck they're called. And they were all over the place so I built like these fire fountains and the animals would randomly run into them and die and leave their sweetness or as um, I'm gonna throw a, a shout out to Dodger uh, sweet meats so um, we decided that we were gonna make a kitchen so that we could store it all and well yeah none of these were summoned and you gotta think about it in multiplayer you can't kill things so you can just imagine how many pigs ran into the fire and just died. <clears throat> okay, sorry, I'm getting over a cold here real fast, so I'm sorry. Um, we do have uh, a record player and a uh, little thing that has the uh, records inside of it. Uh, once again, more chairs, wooden table. Hope the lava doesn't touch it. Alrighty. Uh, going up to the second floor here. Oh, we got a little bit of lag there. Um, this second floor, uh, and I'm so glad I'm playing this on peaceful because at the very end of this, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on too hard, and I am going to show you the craziness that we have. Um, and I'm going to show you on how there are still flaws inside of this castle that we need to fix. But once again, this castle is maybe about a couple of weeks old. It's not really that old. Um, but it's enough that we still have a lot of flaws to do. This would be the third floor. Uh, once again, not very done yet. Uh, still a lot of work to do. Um, this floor is actually one of the ones that uh, Patrick really didn't fully finish yet, since there are no windows. My mouse is uh, not cooperating with me very well. Okay. Each one of these little corner uh, pieces are all spiral staircases that you can go up to each and every single one of the floors. Ah, uh, this room. Uh, we're going to come back to this room and you're going to see me get hurt very bad. Uh, because uh, this is very, very dark at night. This would be the fourth floor. Fifth floor. And once again, I mean, these are all going to be bedrooms and stuff to that nature so that we can all live in the castle. Alrighty, this would be the um, the roof, and I'll explain what that thing is in the background. Um, but yes, uh, that would be our um, the height off of the castle, and uh, it is a very very nice looking, uh, just overall just nice feel to the whole place. Hang on a second, I'm messing with my mouse for one second. Just give me a second. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get rid of my. Uh, that feels a lot better. I'm sorry that you had to see that. 
Uh, but yes, here's another example about every single piece that we have put down on the ground. Like, all these trees have all been placed by little saplings and have grown into the forest that you see. You know, we've done a lot of work to this place. Um, but one thing that we definitely went, we wanted to go ahead and, and throw this out to those who actually really cared about it is everybody was all gung-ho about the whole hell world or the nether or whatever you want to call it, whatever Notch wants to call it. But if we go up here, we have three wonderful portals to hell. And just to show you, these are working. This may take a couple of seconds, so give it a second. And I'm on peaceful, so this uh, you're not going to see anything. And I can't die. And here we are. Welcome to hell. Yep. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do a big tutorial of hell, but I want to show you something coming up here on the left. Uh, and the reason I'm saying it's coming up here on the left is because apparently hell does not is not randomly generated. It's generated based on the map that you're on. So I know there's going to be a giant cavern coming up here, and it looks really, really, really cool. I will end this video by coming back to hell to try to kill something. Last time I was here, the uh, the ghasts were really, 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 really hard to kill. And it's loading, and my computer hates me. But regardless, very, very cool stuff. Very psychedelic, very, I don't want to really be here. So let's go back. Now, as of right now, uh, Patrick was the one who ended up uh, doing the whole castle. Uh, I took care of the wall and really kind of landscaping to that matter. Uh, Patrick is still not completely done with the whole uh, castle thing yet, but once again, this is no more than a couple of weeks old. It's not that extravagant. Yeah, huh? Saving chunks, building terrain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so while I'm doing this, and by the way, all three of the portals bring you to the exact same place. So multiple portals may look nice, but they're pointless. Alrighty. So that's, a, that's the summary of our uh, castle. Um, this is uh, going to be part one. Um, and once again, you can, you can go on top of these little things and shoot. I will explain more about the ship and the lighthouse and the docks and everything to that nature in another video. Uh, but for right now, uh, please subscribe. Uh, go ahead and leave comments. Um, if you have any ideas or anything that want you want to see kind of get built or something to that nature, let us know. Um, we're always... they mated. There's now three of them. Hamburgers. Um, but yes, please, uh, please subscribe. Please uh, leave any comments that you want. Uh, throw me an email, too, if you have any questions. Uh, my inbox is always open for suggestions. Um, but just let us know, um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. This is the end of the first video, uh, and there should be many more like this. So, thank you.